continue episode two. Here we go. Start soon. Not sure why I said continue if it's really started it. This might be the one with the cannibals. Yeah, right. Still a good game. I don't I have to say that, but let's face it. Your choices don't really affect anything. Damn, what'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting it out. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. That is a jackass. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. I was about to have him call that old guy a racist, but... That happens way too often, it just gets annoying. That's something weak minded people use. Take this shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Shoot, boy. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Why are you watching your gun? Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We gotta help. 
please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Uh -oh. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Lee, do something. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Try to get the chain. There's nothing that won't let me do it. Sorry, dude, but I wouldn't have no choice. Sorry, Dookie Ho. Ah, that has to hurt. Bye, say bye to that leg. That has to hurt. Ow! Where the hell? Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Bye, Trav! Don't look, just run! My son says, behind you, watch out, you don't look behind you. You just simply start running forward. Now you're that girl's boyfriend. And her dinner. Dumbass. It's like when someone says, duck, you don't look behind you, you just duck. Oh well. And then we get that Ben character. Jeez. How do I just kill that old man? Take him outside, you know, say, hey, we need your help with something. Then he has an accident and dies. Who would miss him? Poor boy ain't gonna survive. The gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are that? these? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mom? I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else. Just us. How do you know he's not lying? Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. 
Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You were there. Like Charlie he made her. a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Oh, shut up. Please, why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <laughs> Everybody's getting sick with him, even his own daughter. <laughs> I bet mean, he is racist, though. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Yeah, really. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Flip. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. That'd be all for, be for me. Shoot, I'll go hide somewhere and eat. Not giving any to the old man. I really don't like Kenny a huge amount because I know what he's going to become, but he's better than that female. She'll get the food. Here, eat something. Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. See, I try to be nice to the old man once, giving him food and all that. He just makes you regret it. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Do you really need it? My dad gave it to me for my birthday. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, oh. Clint. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? How about we okay. give her some food? And the boy, too. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I'll give her the crackers. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry, too. Well, yeah, Duck is about to eat. Get some food. Duck is about to eat, don't worry. I have no problem with hey, duck. duck. How about a little food? It still does look like the kid from Toy Story, though. Here. That <laughs> boy happy. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Cracker for a cracker. <laughs> ah, he doesn't need food. Hey, Doug. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? Don't suppose I could interest you in some food. Look how happy he is.
Actually, why don't you keep my share today? I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me and not Carly, but I owe you a lot more than half a day's rations. Hey, if Doughboy doesn't want his food, hand it this way. It doesn't work like that. I'll decide who gets the food. I'll decide smart. You don't really want to piss me off, do you? Get on your hands and knees, you know, I put something nice and hard into your mouth. And you start working on it. What the heck, I'll give you some food, you know. Want something to eat? You're a screw up. Here, what man. After what you've been through, seems like you could use a pick-me-up. Seriously? I know food's scarce. This is really... I really appreciate it, man. That pisses off that old man. That's even good. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah, well, can we find the Kenny dude? Might be a bit of a jerk, but... What? Come on, Dookie Hall. There he is. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Last time I mainly decided with her more than I decided with Kenny. She makes you regret it. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You yeah, want to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Man, I agree there, though. You have a point, though. You're just sitting on your ass. You're actually the only one not doing anything besides Ben. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? <laughs> nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Catch you later, <laughs> Doc. Bye, Lee. Good. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Oh, shut up. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Lily, I, uh... I see how it is, Lee. Talk to you later, okay? We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. 
I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected. We're close to the drugstore. We have a routine now, and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Fine. Hey, Doug. Think Katja can save that guy? Nope. Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Does it work? It should. We'll have to wait and see. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. I need space, Lee. Sure, baby girl. This fucker's all goat. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Damn, what a bitch. Hey. You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kaja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You need to go, too. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? <laughs> Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? There, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Jeez, what a prick. I'll be glad when he has his heart attack. Can we get to the rest of the game so we can <laughs> just Ken, get started? Lee, Good. Come here, please. Yay. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I know you are. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <laughs> Oops. Oh, come on, Dookie. What type of idiot gets... Oh, well, who cares? That was my fault anyways. It wasn't fast enough. Became zombie too. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't just start it immediately now. Oh, come on! The heck is he doing? Do something. Ah, ah. He's not even giving me something. 
Hey, come on, we're hitting the button. How is he hard that hard to get away from though? Come on, you can't be that hard to get away from. Him. Hey, handsome. Oh, come on! What the fudge was that about? Now he's a zombie child. At least he doesn't got to deal with that old goat anymore. What an idiot missed. Stop being so scary looking. I got him. Oh, I heard I heard this one. Ugly horny guy. Hungry dude. I don't know what you're supposed to do here though. Oh, I see. You're not paying attention to that crap. No, I did that. Now the old goat's gonna get upset, Larry. We gotta deal with his ass. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. You could have told him. To all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I, I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. No, I would not. I would just avoid them because they're a danger. It works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We got to do this. That's far oh. enough. Hey, oh, keep, keep your mouth shut, okay. dude. Okay, uh, no problem. You're outnumbered here. Let's turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but, but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o, I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. 
And we have you because his fault. Group, this affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy. For Dad. Kenny? Katja? We go. Dad? You bet you, pumpkin. Doug? I say we do it. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. Clementine, what do you think? We... I'm very hungry. Alright. Looks like we're going to a dairy. Gonna regret it. But now it's the old man's fault when they almost get eaten. So, this dairy... You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Ugh, I shouldn't have turned down that food you offered me earlier. <laughs> that is one runaway train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem Georgia. pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh, you know it's their questions? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like you I know it's their questions, right? Food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shoot me down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are home. they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry, and home. you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Ah, uh -huh. that's what he's going to do about it. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, shit! Asshole! Now yeah, you can take his gun. About here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Yeah, but aren't y'all eating people? A good game, actually. Maybe you have to eat the meat fresh because you know they go bad, you know. Here it is St. John Family Day. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Uh-oh, more food. We've got kids in our group. 
Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good veg. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! <laughs> Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. <laughs> take this. I won't trust All you. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open and you find out what you can from Andy. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. do for you sweetie can i help you with anything not eat me i think with danny's help i've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen but feel free to check with andy he's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days so i'm sure he'd love any help he can get how 
many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Oh, uh, just curious, I guess. Let's she not knows. start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home-cooked meal tonight. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. You know that's how she reacted with that question? I should give you a big hint that there's something up. Let's go to that barn that's locked. Queen. Yep. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Might as well before you get eaten, before you become dinner. What the heck did he just do? Just put it in his back pocket. Wow. And it fit in his back pocket. That is impressive. Oh, I guess he can't go any further than this. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Well, that's a smart way yep. to do it. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Oh, yeah. Let's go to that swing. I don't know how that military guy dies. I know how Doug croaks. The board is good, but I need some rope. You got rope. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Oh. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. How's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but 
Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. Mm. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Disgusting. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Now I want to take those hands off. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better <laughs> leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Yeah, sure. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. We're we'll about to kill you guys. What the? Get to the gate. Get down! You assholes! Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Can't hide forever! Did you really think you'd fuck with us? Get closer! What the heck? Do some dukes? Grab? Trying to lure me to the open. What about our arrangement? Why is it shooting out? Give us the food! Why is he not? Oh. I got you now. Quick, the blades are stuck in the dirt. The blades are stuck in the dirt. I can't see ya. It ain't right. We had a deal. Do something. Something's still blocking it. 
the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're out of the house! Yes, that's how he dies. That's right. Poor Mark. Mark was a good guy, too. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move him. Yeah, I deserve to die. game so far though. Okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Yeah, because you're going to eat them. Be the what kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Christ, maybe you were right about this place, Lee. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's gotta watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. 
I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. Just hey, like Ricky. at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Those two have been making babies together. 